Hi guys, Steve here, and on this video I'm going to show you how to get loads of mantis eggs, so you can tame your very own army of rock elementals. Now the hardest ingredient for you to get to tame mantis is the horn you need by killing death worms. It's easy to kill them with wyverns, so it'll be later on in the game when you'll be doing all this. You can tame mantis in a desert where you find them, but it's a huge area for them to wander around in. You might get attacked by something when you're concentrating on the mantis. They'll aggro and try to attack any creature around them. It's hot and you'll get dehydrated quickly from running around. And they might get killed by somebody on a wyvern looking for organic polymer. So the simplest and easiest way to do it is to fly around and find a low mantis. You only want low level ones because you're only after their eggs. And you don't need as many death worm horns to tame them. Then fly down and pick it up and take it back to a nearby base. Here I'm dropping it on the roof of a nearby tower. It's a small safe area for the mantis to wander around in and it has enough room for me to land a wyvern on it. It's easy to tame them by yourself, but if you want to speed things up you can do it with a partner. Hello my friends, uh, my name is Miss Bach. I will have no bliss for teaming mantis. <laughs> One of you staying on a roof taming the mantis, while the other one's out looking for new ones, then dropping them off. Okay, let's begin with what you need. Select your mantis horns and drag them to the zero key on your hotbar. Bug repellent spoils so keep it in the inventory with preserving salt, until you need it. Use a bug repellent which makes you invisible to the mantis, and place it back in a wyvern so it doesn't spoil. This will be a passive tame so you need to press your action key to use the horns in your hotbar. To tame the mantis, go behind it and stick a death worm horn up its butt. Do not touch your mantis or let it touch you, and don't stay near it in case it aggroes. So once you've done it, go back and mount your wyvern. The mantis won't naturally attack a wyvern unless it was attacked by it first. So you're safe up here, with or without bug repellent. It takes 4-5 to five minutes for the mantis to become hungry again. So just stay on the wyvern so you don't aggro the mantis and interrupt your tame. I'll skip forward until the mantis is hungry again. When it's ready to eat it will say feed death worm horn to tame in blue text. I was a bit too close to the wyvern then. Make sure the mantis doesn't touch you. Go behind it and stick the horn up its bum. Then back away again. Double taming's on, so it's only going to take three horns to tame a level 15, I think. Just one thing to be careful of, when you put your hand back on the mouse, don't press the right mouse button by accident. Ah! Why? You can... Oh my god, I pressed the button by mistake! <laughs> yeah. I'll just check if a mantis is hungry. Not yet, so I'm going to skip forward a bit. Always keep an eye on a bug repellent timer to see how long it's got left. If you get off your wyvern when it's run out, the mantis will attack you and break the tame. Typical, just needs one more to finish it. Yes. That, uh... Mantis nice color. Done? And that's how you tame a mantis. All you have to do now is repeat that many times, and build yourself somewhere to store them all. So that's what we're going to look at now. If you've seen my video on how to get titan boa eggs, and cementing paste from beaver dams, I took the game mechanics that I learnt from my weeks of testing there, and incorporated it into this design. Here we have 100 mantis, tamed by my good friend and epic tamer, Mispa, in only two days. I wanted all the mantises to stand on the normal ground, as if you put them on built floors they fall through, then you can't see the eggs underneath. I've lined them up like this with their bums facing outwards, so I can look down the corridor to see if they've laid, then easily pick their eggs up. Mantis do lay eggs on normal ground, but to cover my bets, if they were like titan boas and only laid eggs in the swamp, I built this mantis farm on the sand which is their natural habitat. The mantis egg laying uses the same mechanic as a titan boa, but to flying out of render distance and then coming back so fresh eggs respawn. I've tested it for weeks and even with 100 mantis, you only get a maximum of 3 eggs spawn at a time. Mostly you only get 1, maybe 2 eggs, but sometimes you get no eggs at all. 
Then a friend told me a trick to get around this so we can get more eggs. We built another mantis farm in a new location. Then we had to move other mantis out to take them there. <laughs> Most can you make 100 mantis. Can you make sure they're all following me? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's epic. Actually, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Right, I'll go first. The trick is, when you're flying around, press H. It will show you what the area is called you're in in the top left. At the moment, I'm in the Northern West Oasis. These are the areas that the devs have named. But what you're looking for are areas that are called unknown regions. That's because in all the named areas, the devs have added a code to restrict the mantis egg laying. That's why you barely get any. However, in these unknown regions, that code doesn't apply. So here the mantis will lay eggs the same rate as any other creature. So you want to build your mantis farm in these unknown regions. As that way, you're going to get loads of eggs. I'll show you around ours. Even though the mantis egg laying restriction doesn't apply here, after days of testing I noticed that another one does. It seems a maximum number of eggs the same creature can lay in the same area is 6. So even with 100 mantis, maximum amount of eggs they'll lay at one time is 6. Sometimes you'll get 4, sometimes 5. But the difference is, every time you do go back to your farm, you're guaranteed eggs. And with 5 or 6 at a time, they soon stack up. This farm has two rooms on two flat levels. Most of the time the eggs are laid between the two. But sometimes you get all the eggs laid in one room or the other. As you can see I've created a corridor with the mantis bombs pointing inwards so I can just go around collecting the eggs easily. Just making sure I've got them all. I got five that time. So what you need to do now is get on your wyvern and fly out of render range of a farm. This is far enough so I'm going to wait here 4 to 5 minutes then fly back. The egg respawns on a timer so if you go back sooner you won't get any. And there you go, they've laid a new batch of eggs. I'll just go around and collect these, then repeat the process over and over again of flying out of render range, wait for 5 minutes, then come back. If you get somebody to do that all day, by the end of it you'll have hundreds of eggs. There are different size unknown regions all over the map. And this is one of the bigger ones. Just keep looking and hopefully you can find an area where you can build. This was the fifth visit I did to the farm, and that gave me a total of 26 eggs, in about 30 minutes. I've also tried using an oviraptor next to them to see if I lay more eggs. As you can see you get your egg icon over its head, meaning it's working on itself, but when I look at the mantises there's no egg icon there, meaning it doesn't work with them. When I went around collecting the eggs I just got the same amount as before. As the maximum number of eggs that can lay at any one time is 6. If you've got a large amount of mantises, it might be worth splitting them into groups around the map. That way you could have batches of 5 or 6 eggs in different unknown regions. I'll just go around and finish collecting these. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe.
Don't forget to check out the other helpful videos at the end, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye!